Do 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 do. Ah, crud, now what? Car won't start. I think it needs a jump. Hello, Eric the Car Guy here back again for another episode. And today we have a question submitted by uh, Jennifer Shannon, uh, who wanted to know how to uh, safely jump start her car using these things. Ah! Okay, we're gonna start by uh, getting the two cars close enough to one another so that the cable reaches between both cars. For the next trick, we open both hoods on the cars. Now that we've got the hoods open on both cars, Battery on one side, battery on the other side. Uh, shouldn't be a problem because the cables will be long enough. This is the good car. I'm going to start with the good car. And you always start by putting on the positive lead first. But here's something to be real mindful of. If these are laying on the ground and they're touching, uh, my little incident earlier, uh, was because I had it hooked up to a battery and I touched the two of these things together. You don't want these touching. So you want to hook these up one at a time so that both are not hooked up to one car and then you've got these other two laying on the ground that could potentially arc and touch. So you start with the positive battery cable. And just give it a little wiggle when you put it on. That way the teeth from the jumper cables will bite in. A little bit and make a better connection. Okay, which one's positive and which one's negative? Very good question. Uh, on the top of the battery, what you'll see a lot of times is a plus sign for positive and a minus sign for negative. The positive cable will have like something red on it. Like this one's red. And then a the negative cable is usually black. But say in a case like this, you don't know, you don't see a plus sign or a negative sign and it's kind of hidden. The negative cable usually runs someplace that touches the body somewhere. You know, someplace on the body or someplace on the engine. The positive cable always goes to the starter, which is that guy. So what you can do if you don't know which is which is you can follow the cables and the one that has anything that goes to like the body of the car or the outside of the engine that's the one that's going to be negative, and of course the other one's going to be positive. And if you can't follow the negative cable, follow the positive cable. Okay, now I'm going to go to the dead car and connect the positive battery cable. Once again, make sure that this, these two do not touch. Next, we're going to hook the negative cable up on the good car. There you go. Now here's the tricky part. You might know what's coming next, you might not. Don't hook the negative jumper cable up to the battery on the car that you're trying to jump. A much better way to do this is to find a good ground on the engine itself. In other words, find a shiny metal spot on the engine that you know is nice solid metal and hook the ground cable up there, not to the battery itself. Okay, usually what I like to look for is like a big hook sticking up off the top of the engine, something like that. This would be the engine. This is where you would like to have it mounted. Uh, the alternator is an excellent place to put a cable if you've got enough. So how about right in here on top of the alternator? We'll put that. And you want to make sure to keep it away from any of the spinning stuff. Okay, cables are all hooked up from the good car on the battery and the bad car on the battery and a good engine ground. Now let's start the good car. Let the good car run for a little while before you attempt to start the other car. Give the battery time to, to charge up a little bit before you actually turn the key and try to start the other car. If the other car is not starting, or, or it's really, really dead, what you might want to do is you might want to raise the idle up on the car that 
is the good car and let it run at a higher idle, that will allow the alternator to work a little bit better and charge the battery up even more than it would just by sitting at idle. All right, now I'm gonna go into the dead car. It's been running for a little while and try to start it. Please, please, please start, please. Yay! All right, now that both cars are running, disconnect the cables on both cars. The sooner the better. You don't want to leave them on for too long. But you want to start with taking the ground cables off first. Those cars were stinky. I need to get away from them. Starting to feel lightheaded. Okay, just to recap, uh, when you hook the cables up, do not hook both cables up to the good car at the same time. Hook them up one at a time so that uh, the other cables don't touch and arc and cause a spark. Also, uh, if you smell like a rotten egg smell around your battery uh, or when you open up the hood, be very careful about making sparks in this particular situation. Uh, namely because uh, that gas could be flammable. Once you do jump start your car, it's a good idea to get that battery checked. Uh, the reason for this is, is maybe you need a battery. It could be a good indication of that or it could be an indication of another type of problem that's actually drawing current from your battery even though your car is not running. So you, you want to make sure that you get it checked out unless you know that you left your headlights on or something like that. The battery should charge up after you drive around for some time, but if it were me, I would want to be someplace where I didn't have to go anywhere when I shut the car off again uh, just to make sure that I was able to get to where I was going. Thank you, uh, Jennifer Shannon, for submitting the question. Feel free to submit questions. I mean, I, I am open to suggestions. If you have a car question, if you have something that you want to know about uh, if I don't know the answer I will find the answer and put it on the show that's what I'm here for so please submit your questions in fact I'm thinking about doing a contest but I'm trying to figure out what I could give away for the next car question so if you have car questions please submit them uh, either as a text response to this or visit me at ericthecarguy.com until then be safe have fun and stay dirty, dirty.